Hello, and welcome to MWILE Tutorial Videos. In this video, we're going to go over how to import a roster file for ECYSA. First off, you're going to log into EC, ecysa.org. You're going to select the Town Director menu, and you're going to browse to the Import Roster. Once there, you're going to be able to choose a file by clicking on the Choose File button, scrolling down until you find your Excel file, select it, and then open it up. Now we can upload the file. But if there's any errors, it'll prompt you right now before the file is fully uploaded to correct them. Example here is there's two headers that are misspelled compared to the template. All they have to do is map the correct spelling. So in case of gender, it'll be player coach gender. In case of coach email, it'll be coach or player email. Once this is completed, I can hit upload again and the process will continue. Once the file has finished uploading, it will give you a few feedback. First off, it will tell you how many rows were uploaded, so in this case 224, how many failed rows, this case 3, non-resident warnings, age and grade warnings, which can be minimized, uh, how many failed teams, and how many failed rows. First off, for your non-resident warnings, you can go to each player, select the reason why they're non-resident, and then hit submit. Once you're finished, the warning will go away. For age and grade, it will alert you to each player's issue with each grade group. Example, a player could be above or below the cutoff of grade 4B, and etc. And then you can re-minimize it. For failed teams, it would be if a team is missing a head coach, and it'll ask you to prompt, it'll prompt you for a C1 row before trying again. So you can either re-import the entire team, or you can fix it in the failed rows column. This will also warn you on how many rows were failed with the team, in this case two, one coach and one player. And you can scroll down to see where that happened. So in our failed rows, this is all rows that were completely rejected, they were not imported into the system, you can either re-import them in another Excel file, or you can fix them right here and hit re-upload. So right here, we can see that these two errors are interlinked. There are two rows next to each other, so it's most likely that failed team row, or warnings. And I can see that it's stating I'm missing a head coach. And if I notice that I accidentally put in a C2 instead of a C1. So I need to delete the two, add in a one, and everything is okay. I don't need to correct anything else because this person is most likely a player. I can check this by hitting the show all columns button. So this will show all the columns in that row that was rejected. So now I can look and see that, yep, this is a player. I can then close that and move on to the next row. Right here I can see that this is looking for an email and it accidentally received a phone number. So I can go ahead and type in the email that was required. Or I could leave it blank. And then hit re-upload. Then it'll validate that those three rows were sent through. It didn't reject that team again. And everything is all set. From here, you're all done.